Let's earth back some chicken garden. Day 37. All right, folks, we're back for an easy day of earth bagging. There's no bottles to put in. Just a few cleats that we already uh, cut and built and put together and installed, so cleats on each side of the window openings. Our only goal today is just to get up one more course, at least on the circle, maybe on the coop, but that may be pushing it. So we're gonna focus on the circle. That's basically four bags. I think we can do it. Let's go. Today is Tiny Shine Tuesday, and that means we get to shine a light on another person doing something really cool out here in Arizona. Today I'm featuring Tracy Williams from Glassy as Flux. Tracy is a self-taught artist who started this business in 2020. If you are in the market for a stained glass piece, go check out Tracy on Instagram at Glassy as Flux. Oh no. We just used up our first roll of Hyper Adobe bags, so we have two more rolls which should be really cutting it close. That's 1,500 feet. 1,600 and 1,640. Yeah, of linear feet of bag. Yeah. In less than 30 days. We're rolling. Guys, we get a lot of questions about how we set the level, not like this, but like this. And people ask, does it actually work like that? Yeah, it does. It's a lot easier to see it this way than this way, because I, I can't really see it. I'd have to. All right, let's take a look. Eh. Level, flip uh -huh. it. Same thing, guys. Yep. Same thing. It's amazing how levels work. Let me tell you. Now, here's what we're going to do. Something fun. We're going to lay this buttress over here in real time. No time lapse, no speed ups. We're going to see exactly how long it takes. Ready? Let's do it.
So very important. It's the age old debate. Does it roll under or over? I think I'm gonna go with under. Under, under for this application. Okay, so technically it's not real time because someone already started this bag. But here's what we would have done if we were gonna start from scratch. First you measure how long your bag is, and then you wanna add a little bit extra on the ends because you're gonna do your, your twisty tie around and then on the end, you also need enough to tie it and fold it under to hold it tight. So probably a foot for each end, six inches for each end. You just want a little bit extra so that you can play with it. So then you flip it inside out so that your, your uh, rebar tie isn't sticking out for stuff to run into. That way it's inside the bag. And then we found it helps if you actually fold down the edges a little bit so that when you start filling it up, you're not like holding it up here because it's really long and people are trying to dump it in. It's a little easier though. Are you ready? I am sensing non-excitement from you. Scoop it, let's go. Since this is so short, we're not using the dolly and we're not even using the bucket because it's just right here and it would be more of a pain to have it on there and have to take it off after like two scoops anyway. So I'm just gonna start it right here. We're just gonna scoop it in. When it gets full enough, then I'll lift it up and we'll get started on it. Why and, don't I have any dirt yet? And we've yeah. already wet the bag down. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So also, which we didn't do this in the solar shed at all, but we realized that because this material here will adhere to the material we put in the bag, it'll work better if we wet this down. And then when this wet material, it'll all like stick to it and it'll lock in better. So this has already been wet down and apparently I'm waiting on dirt. So... This was not real time at all. Are we, we still real timing it? Does this mean I have to keep talking? You okay? No. <laughs> all right. All right, let's do it. We do it by hand. <laughs> One handful at a time. One handful yeah. at a time. There's no scoop involved. Get a, get a scoop. <laughs> You're not helping. So I like to have a pretty decent amount already sort of stuffed down into the bag and have the bag expanded before I actually lift it up into place. So this is pretty good right here. I'm gonna lift it up. And then lay it down so that this side is flat right here. And then we'll push it up against. And then this is actually a little too big. So I'm gonna push some of that back down this way. Then you don't want it all twisted up, right? So you wanna get it back the right way. Okay, I'm ready. And then after each scoop, you kinda have to move the dirt back up in here so you don't end up with like weird cavities in the bag. Really, really Ada. Someone needs to stop my camera over there. Where? Behind you, Ada. Huh? Can you stop it over there? Yeah. So see, if I just kind of like left it here and let him fill it in, it would just get, it wouldn't be very full. It would have little cavities in it. But if after each scoop, you keep moving it back up in there, that help, helps keep it fairly even. <laughs> I mean, it's not as good as the dolly in the bucket, but it's as bad as good as you can get by doing it by hand. I actually kind of like having the extra dirt on there just because it's one more thing that the bags can adhere to. Jonathan wipes it off. I leave it there. I don't wipes always wipe off. it off, but it was don't bothering me. Don't wipe it off. Leave it there. But will it though? Yeah. Will it help? Yeah. But will it help us? It'll help the bags stick together. Oh, okay. I don't know. It will. That's up for debate. You're up for debate. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> 
Mexican I think the next bag I need to go make dirt. Mm. So we're doing more? We need to get done fast. Yeah, we gotta do one more the bag. other side. Uh, the long one. We may go get the dollar. Go faster. Okay, we'll see if we can scoop fast. Ada, please grab a scoop. Can you, or no, no, no. Okay, let's go, let's go. Jax, if you both scoop, it would go faster, but I guess we only have a couple more scoops to go. Remember to keep this one. We're going to start stepping it in just slightly. Right. So you want to start our buttress step in here. So my goal is to come up like this and then gradually go up with the bags to the top. So each buttress will be just a little bit shorter. Or are we going to do like two? No, I just level? want it to be um, like a perfect okay, angle wait, 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 all the way up to the top. Mm, let me see that one. Can you real close. I think I'm gonna stop it here. Okay. All right, now, I, Ashley didn't do this, but I like to go ahead and sort of compress this dirt here because as I lift it up, I don't want it to fall apart. So I lift it up and then Ada or somebody else will take it and you wanna pull this bag all the way down to the very bottom corner and then you wanna twist it and then pull it tightly underneath, stuff it back there as far as you can. And then when you lay it down, now it's nice and tight. And then you tamp it. And then you tamp it. Are you tamping? This is not really <laughs> a store. Can you let dad tamp so we can get done? Here, you can do the other one. You can do the big bag. Why? Okay. No, you need to get it done. When we don't have to do this real time. It's a little crooked. Yeah, I know. Whose fault is that? Looks uh, like the... Where's the wood? This side needs to go Which in. No, this side needs to go this way. Oh, okay. that, um, that looks better. <laughs> uh, wood. I have wood. I have better wood. What is the original wood? No, this is the original. No. Actually, none of these are the original. True. This is the more original one. No, it's not. So we tamp it pretty hard because we want to create a, like a solid piece out of it. Um, if you're just kind of barely doing it, we've done we've done that occasionally, and the sides, like if you walk near it, they'll just crumble and fall out because it's not compressed into a single thing. Here, I need this. So we find that. It helps a lot to tamp the sides of it with something flat. Like wood. And that also helps with the last step, which is plastering. Thank you. Another uh, To have flat sides, it's a lot easier to apply your final coats. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right, where's the level? Yeah. Yeah. Not Whoa, level. not level at all. Yeah. So the back is too level. tall. And this needs to go down slightly. Okay, try that. Yes. Not level. It's close. Also, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Hyper Adobe is very flexible. It has to be close enough. Close enough. She said it has to be close enough. Oh yeah, close enough. So we got a little drop off here at the end, but that happens a lot when you end a bag well, without pushing up against anything. It's got skin here. Well, don't don't push on see. it, Dad. Hmm? Don't push on it. Good, Dad. It's still wet. So yeah, sometimes yeah. what you can do is you can actually and then kind of bring it over, and that should help a little bit. Why do you keep the shot? Yeah, see, that's closer. That's pretty close. Dead. That is close enough. Ding! And if you would like a shirt that says close enough, <laughs> just visit tinyshinyhome.com slash shop. And that is real time butts right there.
broke a bottle. bottle. We have a bottle casualty. I thought these wouldn't break as easy too because of the because we stopped the bag in Look between. Look at that. Oh uh, no. Gotta Look get at all it. these Six pieces out. out. Yeah. It just broke. Do we have to like just push it out? So we have an idea. This is the first one that's broken like that. But so what we're thinking is is that and you can come over here. So usually when we do bag, bottle, bag, then we fill this in to kind of hold it. But now we're thinking maybe we wait to put this until we're actually like right here. We would put soft, wet dirt here and then bring it over and tamp it all together at the same time. Because if this is hard it's and you tamp on top of it, it's gonna create a little too much pressure on that bottle. We're gonna try next time, see if it works. Wrapping up day 37, we have one full course on our inner circle, which is the chicken run. Does that up to eight courses now? I don't know. I'm not counting. But also, mm, yeah. look how high it is. It's it's like, well, it's waist level on that side. Yeah. This is the high side, so it's a little lower. But that doesn't make sense. High side, but it's lower. <laughs> the ground is higher. The ground higher. is higher. The bags are lower. Sure. That makes yeah. sense. Okay. So that means, oh, and we had one major casualty. We broke one bottle. So we're going to try... Well, I was, it's half a bottle. We didn't even break yeah. the whole bottle brick. Yeah. Just one of the bottles broke. So what I'm going to try to do is just cut a bottle and slide it in there yeah. eventually. We don't have to do it right now. Yeah. Um, but we are going to try what we said earlier, which is just putting our cob mixture over that bottle as we're laying a bag. So when we lay that next layer, we'll just put the bottle in. Yeah. And we won't put any dirt over it yeah. until we lay the layer now after that. we probably that. will have some dirt under it. It depends, it depends on, on, if on the size. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're just confusing them a lot. Anyway, guys, we're going to try a different technique and we'll see if it works. Yes. We have to get this down because yes. we want to incorporate lots of bottles in our house build, which is coming up next year. Yeah, yeah, it better be. Yeah. We got to get on that. Yeah. Anyway, so. guys, chicken run is coming along very fast and we'll just keep laying back. That's, that's our life. Yeah, we just lay back. That's all we do. Yep. We'll see you tomorrow.